Ashab عنه, when he saw the Prophet suffering, it didn't make sense to Umar. Why Rasulullah? Why him? I mean, he, he knows Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. No one loves Allah like he loves Allah. His daraja, his greatness is already established. Why does he have to lose a third, fourth, fifth, sixth child? Live in poverty. Why? It didn't make sense to Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Umar walked in and saw the Prophet in this situation where he's rising from his bed and he's got marks on his back. Umar has a better bed. And Umar radiallahu anhu starts to cry. He says, Ya Rasulullah, I've seen the palaces of Caesar and Kisra and all these people. You deserve so much more than that. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi tells Umar, Ama tarda ya Umar, aren't you pleased though Umar, anna lahum dunya wa lana al-akhira? That for them belongs this dunya and to us belongs the hereafter? The Prophet sallallahu is telling Umar, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Don't worry about me. I'm content because I know my purpose in life. So yes, it hurts me when I go through pain because I'm a human being. The Prophet ﷺ cried when he lost his children. The Prophet ﷺ felt the pain of hunger. The Prophet ﷺ felt sickness and illness. He felt poverty. But he never once questioned why. Because he knew that that was a futile pursuit on his part. You're not going to get anywhere. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has assured you of something. أَمَا تَرْضَ يَا عُمَرْ Aren't you pleased though Umar? That they have the dunya and for us belongs the hereafter? Wallahi, the most shocking thing about meeting those Syrian refugees, about going through the camps of the Syrian refugees, these are people who have lost everything. Everything. It's unbelievable how much they've lost. Family, wealth, possessions, everything. Their career, everything. And subhanAllah, they are more content than we are. They complain less about life than we do. They're telling us, Allah will give us more in the hereafter. No wonder why the Prophet said, the majority of the people of Jannah are the fuqara and the masakeen. The majority of the people of paradise are the poor and the downtrodden. They don't get, they get it. It hurts, but they get it. And they're telling us, entitled, privileged, rich, spoiled Americans, that it's okay. Allah knows. Allah will give us. Allah is great. We know that what awaits us in the hereafter is better than that which we have lost in this world. Allah.